the Santa Claus packs are back. I was able to get a bunch of them. So I do, I thought I'd do a couple more of these for you. I got two, I'll be doing two videos, this one and another one. This one is multiple years. The other one, I bought a whole bunch of uh, 1975 tops. So we'll do that in another video. This one is a 1972 pack, a 1973 pack, and a 1976 pack. So I thought I'd break this for you guys. You know what these are. I've done videos in these in the past. And if you haven't seen them, go check my links out. Um... You'll see them. Give the history of the Santa Claus packs. Um, again, these are not the real ones. They're they're uh, counterfeit, if you want to call them that, or or, or copycatted. Um, you know, I just needed the reason why I got these is, you know, I'll fill up my '70s set. These are decent cards to get. They're in decent shape usually. Um, you know, you get what you see on the top. The bottoms are always commons, as you as you can see there so i need one of these cards i forgot which one it is so i thought i'd buy it take a peek at it see if it goes in my set or not so we'll start out 72 my all-time favorite set so uh like i said i you know i'm very 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 close to the set and trying to get it as best as i can and when I get it all completed, I think I might get the whole thing graded. That's my goal in life is to get my whole 72 set uh, graded and then go from there to upgrade it. Um, my goal is to get a PSA 9 set. I don't think I'll get a PS10 set. That's impossible. So uh, I'm going to try for a 9 and, you know, it's something fun to do. So let's start it off here. We got uh, Doc Ellis in action from the Pittsburgh Pirates. There's the back of those. Very nice. I love those. So we'll set that aside right there. We got Sid O'Brien from the Angels. And we got Darren Brandon from the Phillies. And the last one is Bill Parsons of the Brewers with the awesome 1971 All-Star Rookie Trophies. I love those. And these are in decent shape. I mean, they're, like, excellent, I would say. Some of them are in better shape than others. But, you know, you can't be fussy to begin with. And then you go from there. So let's open up the second cell here. And, man, it just I thought I cut it good in just a corner there. You know, I try, they, one thing they do, they... They uh, vacuum seal these suckers, that's for sure. So the next one up is John Ellis in action. I think that's the one I need for my set. So taking a peek at it, actually the corners are really good. So I, that one will definitely go in my set. 48, um, like I said, I believe this is the one I needed. That's why I picked this up. John Ellis in action, very nice. Next up is Johnny Jeter of the Padres. And we got Ike Brown of the Tigers. And the last card is Larry Brown of the A's. So very nice. There's the back. 279. So that's probably a second series, I think. And the last one of this cell is, if it will open for me. Look at that. You know, just when you thought you cut it good. There we go. Steve Blast will end it up with this pack. So Steve Blast from the Pirates, and we'll just flip that around. Number 320, some middle series. Jim Harden of the Yankees, and Gene Alley of the Pirates, and last one is Dennis Higgins of the Cardinals. So that's the 72 packs. Very nice. Like I said, all-time favorite year of tops is 1972. Up next is 1973, the year after that. It's also, as you know, the last year they stopped, uh, the last year of the series cards. So after 73, they stopped doing series until about 1992, I believe. And then they went back to the series. But here we go. Let's see. Just, just man, it just... So close to cutting on that still there. So let's see what we get. We got Joe Ferguson of the Dodgers. Very nice. I like that card. Uh, number 621. So that's a high numbered one. So Leon Lee of the Padres. Oh, very nice. Doyle Alexander of the Baltimore Oreos. Don't know if that's his rookie card or not. And it may or may not be. I'll have to look that up. You know, he played a little bit for the Dodgers and then the Oreos. So. I believe 72 is his rookie card, so very nice. Doyle Alexander will take it, and Carl Taylor of the Royals. 
I think the reason why I got this one is the Frank Howard there. I needed him for my 73 set. So Frank Howard of the Detroit Tigers. Towards the end of his career, he you know kind of went around there. Uh, 560, higher number card. So we will take that. Corners are in decent shape. And one corner is a little soft, but we'll take it. Up next is Terry Harmon of the Phillies. Bill Russell of the Dodgers. That one's a decent card to get. Bill Russell is a decent player. Oh, very nice. 108. And last one is Dick Woodson of the Twins. So the last one is the Dodgers manager. And that was cut really bad. Oh, you have to recut that. Do not have great credit skills, apparently. <laughs> Up next is Walt Aston of the Dodgers, the manager card. There's Tom LaRusso there. There's Wow, that's not right. That is Tom Lasorda. Yeah, it's Tommy Lasorda. Yeah, duh. <laughs> I'm getting blank here. So there he is with Walt Aston. Good card there. Red Adams. Very nice. Up next, oh, very nice. 1973 Mets team card. I'm pretty sure I don't have that. So we will take that, add it to my collection. Very nice, like that. Terry Humphrey of the Montreal Expos. And very nice for a bottom card, Ted Simmons. Hey, we will take that. They usually don't give you a decent cards in the pack, just the tops. But we'll take a Ted Simmons all day long. I think that's the second year card too. So Ted Simmons of the Cardinals. We will take that. And last pack are these 76s. And you know what? I got the 76. My cousin Rick there. I had to get it for my cousin Rick. So... I know I don't want it. I saw the 75s. There were some of the last 75s. And I figured, okay, I'm going to get some. And that one, I probably overspent. But it's, it, it's Cousin Rick. You got to get a Cousin Rick. And also, by the way, his 76s are hard to find in a PSA 9 or 10. I don't even think there is a 10 available. Uh, it's that hard to get. So very nice. It's in decent shape. So we'll take that. And we'll start off with... Kurt Malacqua of the Milwaukee Brewers, the bubblegum blowing champ. And if I recall, uh, let's see here. Yeah, there's the whole, there's the back of it. So, he, he actually, Cousin Rick was in the bubblegum championship. He lost to Walt Williams of the Yankees. So, very nice. That's kind of cool card. Always different. I don't have that one, so we will take it. So there's Kurt Bavakwa. Up next is Gene J Kleins. Sorry, Gene Kleins of the Mets. Ron Fairley of the Cardinals. And Fran Healy of the Royals. So, yeah, right, let's open this next one up. Get the Cousin Rick card. I got a whole bunch of Cousin Rick cards. Like I said, I'm probably the only one that collects Rick Miller cards. <laughs> is me. Like I said, great outfielder. Played many years. There he is. There's Cousin Rick. Looks like a little printing damage. That's probably why they gave it away. Well, there it is. There's the back. Like I said, 72 was his rookie year. Well, we will take that. Up next is Ed Halicki of the Giants. Bruce Miller of the Giants. And last one is another Bill Freeham. So very nice. This Bill Freeham's in good condition. So we will take that all day long. And let's open up this last one. And like I said, my bad cutting skills, like I said, they're really close. So you don't want to cut them, that's for sure. Checklist. You can never go wrong with a checklist, especially when it's not checked. And that one's in good shape, too. So we will take that. Checklist 265, 396. Up um, next, Johnny Grubb of the Padres. Very nice. I'll take that card. There's the back. And Elias Sosa of the Braves. And the last card is Pat Darcy. So, again, you know, you pay, you get what you pay for. Um, like I said, these things are, you know, if you're trying to complete a set, it's a fun way to open these up rather than, uh, you know, buying them individually or something like that. So they're kind of great set fillers. You always get the top cards, so that's what you're paying for. I'll go through this for my sets. Like I said, thank you for watching. I'll do the 75s next time. Uh, so look out for that.
And thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about these Santa packs. I love all of them. They're kind of fun. So thank you for watching. Retro Robbie saying collect what you love.